installed in high schools. Divine Father in heaven, we ask your blessings upon this place. We ask you to hasten the footsteps of those yet to come. We ask your divine guidance for the speakers that are about to speak. And give us the grace and the fortitude to know what is right and what is wrong. Amen. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the College of Arima Promenade. We are indeed happy to be here this evening at another forum of the People's National Movement. At this place of public education, we'll present to you the facts and the information. Ladies and gentlemen, it will serve to ensure that you understand the importance of securing your children's future, to participate in a process of national development, the knowledge and power to make decisions concerning the future of our country. Ladies and gentlemen, the College of Arima Promenade is an opportunity for further political education as only the People's National Movement can. And so this evening, as we move into our program of activities at the College of Arima Promenade, you will agree with me that this is no joking matter. To do the welcome this evening is a very distinguished leader and representative of the community and constituency of Arima. She has served the constituents of Arima for several years now, providing distinguished leadership to all. Her last assignment in the previous administration was the Minister of Public Utilities and the Environment. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome an attorney at law, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Honorable Penelope Beckles, to give us the welcome. find you all very quiet tonight. Good night, Arima. Let's make some noise, man. Good. I'd like to acknowledge the chairman of the People's National Movement, Senator, the Honorable Conrad Enel. Let's give him a warm welcome. <laughs> members of cabinet, members of parliament, members of the, the deputy, mayor, deputy mayor and president of the Carib community, Councillor Ricardo Barras. The youth speaker for tonight, Mr. Rory Wallace. I'd like to welcome you to the home of Parang, Parang country the home, of course, of our indigenous peoples and our famous son of the soil, Lord Kitchener, and our parent kid, Holly Botodier. <laughs> PNM family, this is to officially welcome you to the College of Arima. This meeting is being held just four days before Arima celebrates its 121st anniversary as a borough. And that, my friends, requires us to give 
to the people and the burgesses of, of Arima a special, special congratulations. As you know, Arima is still the only royal chartered borough in the Western Hemisphere. But this meeting is also being held on a day that we must never forget, and I'm sure those of us who are wrong will never forget. And today is 19 years since that unfortunate day when we had that coup in Trinidad and Tobago. And therefore, I would just spend a few minutes just asking us to remember the importance of democracy and the importance of the rule of law, the importance of the right to vote, and in so doing, reflect on the men and women who lost their lives during that time. And for us to recognize the citizens, the members of our, of our protective services and others who lost their lives and those who serve to ensure that democracy is in place today. I just want to move next to talk a little bit about local government reform, particularly as it relates to the constituency of Arima. I had the good fortune of attending two consultations held by the Honorable Minister of Local Government, Senator the Honorable Hazel Manning, held in Trin City as well as in the borough of Arima at the Town Hall. And during that time, the Honorable Minister visited the market, visited India Ground, visited the facility, the municipal corporation building, and had the opportunity to hear from members of staff as well as councillors about concerns as it relates to the improvement of the borough of Arima. And we all know some of the issues that you have raised from time to time, and I think you would be very happy to know that the Honorable Minister had the first-hand opportunity not just to listen, but to also see uh, some of those ills, and therefore is our expectations that those matters will be dealt with. But the good news about local government reform for Arima, and the Honorable Prime Minister said this in Parliament, and recently was when he was in San Fernando, is Arima will move from a borough and would now attain city status. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to stand and let's welcome to the College of Arima Promenade the Honorable Patrick Manning, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and Senator the Honorable Hazel Manning, Minister of Local Government. For our political leader and Prime Minister, let's welcome him here to the College of Harris Promenade this evening. I'm not hearing you. Of Arima, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the Honorable Patrick Manning, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, to the College of Arima Promenade. Arima Promenade, let's hear you this evening. Let's welcome our Prime Minister. I'm not hearing you this evening. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our Prime Minister is a very distinguished leader, a man committed to the people of Trinidad and Tobago, a leader who leads by example, and he's accompanied this evening by the beautiful Senator the Honorable Hazel Manning, Minister of Local Government, our party's chairman, and the party's PRO. Ladies and gentlemen, 